Okay, I wanted to talk about corporal punishment because I think it's something that really affects our community, the black community a lot. And I don't think we understand the gravity of how much it affects us. Corporal punishment is defined as hitting, smacking, slapping, spanking children with an open hand or whip, belt, shoe, stick, wooden spoon. Also, it can involve kicking, shaking, or throwing children, scratching, pinching, biting, pulling hair, pinching ears, forcing children to stay in uncomfortable positions, burning, scalding, and forced ingestion. And other forms of it is belittling, humiliating, degrading, scapegoating, threatening, scaring, or ridiculing a child. And I believe some of the behaviors in our community are a result of corporal punishment. I used to think it was okay. Um, it's discipline. But now that I see the effects within the community, um, I don't think hitting is appropriate anymore. Um, I would not hit a child. I think that these forms of aggression against women this is a part of it. So you know how people like to say, oh, in the community, you know, kids are raised by single parent households. And I understand this woman is did not make this child alone, but she's been abandoned and th these children have been abandoned. Now she has to step in and be both parents and provide and do everything. She's stressed. She can't do it. This wasn't made for one person to do. And then... I do believe that women do take out their frustrations when they're quote unquote disciplining children and they're taking out their stress and anger and anxiety when they beat children. Because, you know, in the community, it's not spanking or a little tap with a wooden spoon. No, it, it's a beating. Okay. Um, we have comedians that have made jokes about this. This is a running joke. We talk about it amongst ourselves about being beaten. And then we try and say that everything is, is okay. I don't believe everything is okay. Psychologically, I really don't. I think it has formed split within families, split within gender. Um, also the effects of even being able to assert yourself because you're being taught at an early age, whatever this person deem as wrong, you're going to get hit for. And whatever this person deem as right, you won't get hit for. So you can go through life into adulthood with this anxiety of always being perfect or always being right or doing it the right way. Any form of criticism could set someone off to anger or make you feel depressed and less than. Um, I believe that the adult parent child relationship is harmed by corporal punishment. Beating someone has never solved anything. I have seen kids emulate what's happening to them by beating on their family animals. And I don't think it is a good form of discipline at all. And it shouldn't be done and it needs to be stopped immediately. People will set up here and say, well, there's a good way to do it. There is no good way of hitting someone. Um, if it's acceptable to train up a child with hitting them, then wouldn't it be acceptable for a company that you've signed a contract with to say, if you don't do this right, I'm going to hit you. I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense to me anymore. And like I said, it has not progressed our community forward. It hasn't produced the best of the best. I do believe that it's doing more harm than perceived good and honestly I don't see any good in it um, when people say well you know kids in jail they're so I wish my parents had disciplined me they're not saying I wish my parents had beat me to an inch of my life 
no, that's most likely what was going on anyway. Discipline is caring enough to take the time to establish boundaries and expectations. Boundaries and implementing those boundaries by there being a consequence for your actions. And there's a lot more ways to discipline a child than beating them with a switch, a belt, or a shoe, or anything like that. You can talk to them. You can raise your voice in a stern voice and talk to them. This is not about yelling. This is not about stern voice. This is not about a a tap on the leg. This is not about that. We're talking about actual beatings where you are releasing all your energy, striking children, beating them like they're a slave. And that's a running joke as well. And it's not funny because um, how are you going to make a joke about that? But you're asking for reparations. But anyway, that it's not funny to me. Way I don't like seeing children get disciplined this way. Children are not perfect. You have to pour into them. You have to train them up. They are going to be disagreeable. They're going to push boundaries. They're going to get on your nerves. They're going to be annoying. They're going to do wrong stuff and bad stuff. And I think a better form of discipline is to take away the very thing that they love. You know, the electronics, the gaming systems. Um, You can't play in this sport. You can't do this. You can't do that. You should know what your children like enough in order to take it away from them. And only when they correct their behavior can they then regain it. Yeah, I just, I don't see any good coming out of it. You may be able to scare them enough to stop doing what they're doing, but for you to have to keep repeating, doing it over and over, being harsher and harsher, beating them harder and harder. You didn't beat them enough. You didn't beat them hard enough. You didn't beat them into submission like they're an animal or a dog. It's, it's, it doesn't sit well with me. It affects my spirit in a very negative way and I know there's other people out here who they try and deny it but they know that corporal punishment has damaged them in some type of way Um, I believe it can make the men look at the women you know with a single parent household like they're evil and these men have aggression towards women because of Corporal punishment, I'm not saying that's all of them. I'm saying that can be a contributing factor. Some women and men do not know how to assert themselves very well um, because they're always second guessing because that there's that unconscious element of if I'm not right or this is wrong, I can get beat. You know, they may not be thinking about their parent coming in with a belt, but that's in their unconscious um, psyche. Also genuinely feeling unloved and uncared for and a hardening of our empathy and feelings and softness, um, not as women, but as humans, you know, men and women. So I put some of the consequences up on the screen. They've been up there and I believe it 100%. These children grow into adults. And at that point, what have you taught them with beating them for everything that they've done wrong or almost everything that they've done wrong? What is that beating actually telling them? Also, depending on the person, just because you may not lay into beating on your children and you think it's like a spanking or a little tap or something, Other people may lay into children and really like leave bruises and marks and broken bones and fractures and things like that. Um, I think this is a conversation that I haven't really heard people talking about 
within the community dynamic and how this actually psychologically affects you along with all the other things that have been going on in this community that we don't talk about. But this is something that I had been thinking about and it just dawned on me. I do believe a lot of our issues come from that. And if we look more into it, we may be able to find quite a few that line up with our personality type so we can get to the bottom of where this is coming from and possibly make a turn if possible. But that's all I wanted to say about it. Um, I'm against corporal punishment. I don't think it serves any purpose in child rearing. There's other ways to discipline and correct behavior and doing it as early as possible. And that may mean that you have to take the time out <laughs> and deal with the children. And furthermore, if you don't have children, you really need to think about if you can handle children, if you can deal with rearing another human being. And all the what ifs, what if you were a single parent, how would that affect you and everything else? So I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one.